And welcome to your Gold Market Update, charts of interest for today, Monday the 23rd of January. I hope you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, reviewing the end of the week, US markets finished with a strong session on Friday. Major indices are close to key levels. In fact, that NASDAQ actually broke a resistance level that could be of interest. We need to see some follow through. Obviously, this week, earnings continue to be in focus and US futures are just down from neutral in Asian trading today, Asian indices are generally higher. The ASX is lagging a little bit, trading around neutral, but some of the material stocks, particularly in the lithium space, are doing very well. European equity futures are pointing to a higher open, and the VIX is trading around that key 20 level. US dollar index continues to look weak and is at eight month lows. It was weak again today so far, but we are starting to see some recovery, and that's leading us to uh, show you a chart in a moment with a US dollar pair. Gold has popped over 1925. Copper has gained also and is over a key level at 426. And oil has also broken through resistance. All commodities doing well. Bitcoin surged again today and has hit five month highs. Uh, the buyers seem to be significantly in at this stage. And we had that gap higher after the weekend. Major ramp up in earnings season this week, as we've already referenced. Little data of interest today, but tomorrow we ramp it up a little bit as well. We've got some global PMI data across the board from Australia, UK, Germany, the rest of the Eurozone as a whole, and of course the US. That's all going to be important, both on the manufacturing and service side, to see if the economy is holding up okay. A couple of charts of interest for today. Now we'll start with the US dollar yen on the daily chart. And you can see there we've got a long-term bounce off a level of 128. If we look at the hourly chart, some interesting price action this morning. We saw us move down uh, towards this one. 29 level and then bounce significantly here. Very strong reversal candle set uh, there. And we could see it up around about this 130, 30, 130, 50 level if we get a continuation of this buying. On the ASX, we continue to see some buying in lithium after Friday's strong performance. This in a follow through today. 481 on PLS looks like five dollars is on the cards. A breach of that. And we could see it up to 550, which would be another 10%. So if you're in this already, no reason to get out of it at this stage while this momentum is carried on. But just be careful when it gets around this $5 level. And of course, then there is the opportunity for those of you who are not in to potentially take advantage of a continued up move. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.